Welcome to my channel. I make videos illustrating lores and legends of strange occurrences and weird encounters including ghosts and spirits. When it comes to haunted places, I'm testing out a compilation of urban legends from a geographical region such as a province, a country, or a state, and to see how it would work out. The region is selected randomly. This first compilation video is a list of five haunted areas in Rhode Island. Interestingly enough, these are public places such as libraries, public buildings, and a park. The images are also available on my website, surrealhaunts.com. If you want to see them, just follow the link below. Keep in mind that these images are AI-assisted illustrations, even if they look like real photographs. Now on to the list. 5 Haunted Areas in Rhode Island Providence Athenaeum For those unfamiliar with the term, an Athenaeum is just another word that can be used for library. The concept also includes offices, museums, and other places where books, magazines, newspapers, and other such items are stored. In this case, the Providence Athenaeum, known for its striking architecture and impressive history, is a member-run library. So we are basically talking about a haunted library. The Providence Athenaeum is also known for its ties to Edgar Allan Poe and Sarah Whitman. She's a well-known poet. The two were frequent visitors of the library and were once engaged to marry. You probably know that Edgar Allan Poe is famous for his gothic writing such as The Raven, The Cask of Amontillado, The Telltale Heart, and many more. According to the legend, the ghost of Poe still haunts the top floor. It is presumed that his ghost is drawn to the Athenaeum as it is where he and Whitman spent much time together. Sprague Mansion The Sprague Mansion is a historical mansion and museum in Cranston, Rhode Island. It is popular for hosting a variety of events throughout the year including lectures, concerts, and special exhibits. The mansion was the home of former governor and senator William Sprague IV. The Sprague family lived in the house for three generations. It is said that the sprawling mansion is haunted by its former residents. And there is indeed a list of spooky ghost sightings that's been reported over and over throughout the years. But one particular story intrigues me the most. According to the lore, the doll room in this mansion is said to be haunted by the ghost of a little girl. This room is still filled with dolls, and visitors have reported eerie experiences. The story of this doll room begins in the late 19th century. The Sprague's daughter, her name is Alice, had a collection of dolls that she kept in her room. Alice was a kind and gentle girl, but she was also very sick. She died when she was just 12 years old. After Alice's death, her parents kept her dolls in the room. They believed that the dolls would keep Alice's spirit close to them. However, soon after her death, people began to report strange things happening in the room. Some visitors claim that they would see the dolls move on their own. Others have reported hearing sounds of children's laughter. And still others say that they feel cold spots in the doll room. Providence City Hall The Providence City Hall is listed in the National Register of Historic Places. Although official city business is conducted there on a regular basis, tours are offered. Please check their website for the schedule. Now, the tours usually last for about an hour and covers the building's history, architecture, and art. But there are also many stories about ghosts haunting the building. Now, I don't know if that's part of the tour, but one popular legend is the ghost of a woman in white. People have reported seeing her apparition and hearing her screams. It is unclear who she was, but some say that she was an employee who was murdered in the building back in the early 1900s. Another popular legend is the ghost of former mayor Thomas Doyle. He is said to be seen in his old office, and people have also reported hearing his voice. Interestingly enough, Mayor Doyle is actually buried in the building. Cumberland Public Library The Cumberland Public Library was built on the former site of a monastery which was partially destroyed by fire in 1950. Since reconstruction into a now beautiful building, people in the library have experienced hearing ghostly voices and door slammings, and some had witnessed apparitions. One of the most common reports is a man, perhaps a monk, in a brown robe walking throughout the library. He has been spotted in the main reading room, the stacks, and even in the bathroom. Another ghost that has been reported by visitor is a former librarian walking around the building. 
It is unclear why this librarian would still be present in the library after her death. Colt State Park Colt State Park is a popular park located in Bristol, Rhode Island. While the park is known for its beautiful views and recreational activities, there also have been reports of ghost sightings on the property. One particular story creeps me out more than others. Legend says that for many years now, the ghosts of two girls have been haunting the hiking trails. The girls are often seen running and laughing, and they vanish into thin air when you approach them. While no one knows for sure who they were, some say that they died in the park from an accident. Thank you for watching. I'd appreciate comments for future ideas of cryptids and supernaturals, and I'll see you in the next video.